I'm now going to add triad to my maxillary. So uh, first I want to place a thin layer of Vaseline under where my triad material will be. Um, there's a little uh, bristle brush that's real good to do this with. You don't want it really thick. Just under the areas where you're going to have base plate. And like I say, that brush is good to get into those areas. Open the triad package when you're ready to actually use it. And take it out and place it on the cast. Now the thing that I'm seeing you all do is that you're pushing too hard and you're thinning it. You want the final result to be about that thick. So put it on the cast, adapt it. I would start at the middle because you'll catch an air bubble right there in the deep palette. Start at the middle and work your way backwards and press it up against your teeth. Now, with a Bard Parker blade and a handle, cut along the outline of your tray that you can see almost through the material right here. Cut it across the back. I'm going to leave myself a little bit too much room. And then Cut it upward, move that material out of the way, and cut along the T's. Now we are adding this record base material, this triad, and just cutting some of this excess off. I'm going to come down, and I'm going to have a little bit of excess, but I'm coming down this area so that I can bring my triad down here. Now don't push real hard. You don't want to thin the material that much. And then I'm going to come across these teeth. I can see that black outline. And I'm going to go down this front section. Take away this excess. I'm going to come over here and come down this front section. I'm leaving a little bit too much at first just to know that I've, I've got enough. And I'm going to adapt my lightly adapt my material to a point where I'm above the wax. You want to be above the wax because you're trying to close those areas. The good part about Try It is you can get it where you want it before you stop, before you cure it. So I'm going to go above that survey line or in above right where I drew my, drew, drew my design and I am going to make it fade out a little bit but I don't really want a ledge there, but um, I don't, don't want to fade it out so thin that when I trim the edges slightly, I've lost all my material. Now on the back here though, the very, very back portion, you don't want a ledge. So all I'm going to do is lightly adapt it. You have to have some thickness there, but I'm going to just lightly adapt it so that it, it becomes almost confluent with the palette, but there still has to be some thickness of material along there. I'm just rounding that sharp edge and blending it in. Taking my triad back up, uh, up to the tooth just a little bit, I want to make sure I wrap it, because let's say there weren't teeth in front of it. If I wrap it, I don't have any anterior posterior movement. So we're, we're adapting this slightly. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut my outline to where I want it. And I want that rounded right there. I don't want any sharp edges. I want it rounded right here. I do not want to wrap it in front of this tooth. So I'm coming down right at this point and I'm going to round that border and remove it. And then I'm going to round that little edge right there. Now the inside one you're not going to be able to round without taking a burr to it once, once it's all cured. So I'm rounding that, but I still have my thickness of material through there. I have the upper border above, up to, I want it up to my survey line up there, or above the survey line. I don't want it standing out away from the tooth. Just round those slightly. I'm going to round this border, round this border, 
I have a frame attachment right there, so I'm going to come up three millimeters short of the depth of the vestibule. I'm going to come up around my frenum and I'm going to bring this one down to about three millimeters above my depth of my vestibule. It can be thin where you're trying to set teeth, but around these borders you want it to be a couple of millimeters in thickness. And then make sure the palette is adapted well and that there's not a air trapped air bubble down in that area. Should have worked that out at the time you started because if there's air under there at this point, it's just going to move from one place to another. You will end up with some air bubbles. All right, we're ready to cure. We're ready to cure this one. We're going to stick it into the triad machine for about 20 seconds, and then we're going to check this area back here again because this area has a tendency to want to pull away from the palate. But if you cure it for 20 seconds, then do this to it again, like this, uh, you'll work out some of that warpage that you're going to get. I want it to be placed above the survey line so that it is in fact adapted to the tooth. Before you cure the triad, Make sure that you put some retentive areas into the triad. Let's see, got a little wax there. By placing some dents in it, and that are going to help with retention of the wax to the triad rim. That's one of its um, negative features: is that it's hard to get wax to stick on this rim real well. And do that in the other edentulous area. I tend to like to put some retention on the buckle and then on the lingual, and then I know that it's kind of locked on from both sides, and then some other indentations in that area. And then we're ready to cure it for 20 seconds, check the back and see whether or not it has pulled loose, and then we're going to place a layer of Vaseline on the top surface to prevent an air inhibited layer, which means it'll have a sticky surface after it's been cured all the way. Then we'll take it off the cast, and hopefully no undercuts. If there are undercuts and it's stuck on the cast, you need to see a faculty member to help you to get it uh, off the cast. Hopefully it will not have to be cut off the cast. And then you will turn the ba record base over, put an air layer, or a uh, layer of Vaseline to prevent that air inhibited layer on the lingual, stick it in for one more minute and cure it in the triad machine. Then it will be ready to place wax on it. Place the remnants of the triad back into your package and you may use it later if you have enough. You might need to handle on a custom tray and this may come in handy. Keep it in a light free area in a drawer 